Welcome back, you bunch of boys. This is your number one fat Asian coming to you today with my first ever FIFA 18 tips and tricks video. In this one, we got a biggie. I'm gonna teach you how to go ahead and glitch your career mode in order to maximize your favorite young players to get up to the likes of, you know, 90, 95 potential. Doesn't really matter who they are, they just gotta be relatively young. Now the glitch that I'm about to show you has actually been in FIFA for the past couple of years. It's called the Loan Out Glitch, although there are a couple of new wrinkles and changes in this year's edition of FIFA. But at the thought of taking young Marcus Rashford, whose potential is at 88, and raising it all the way up to 95 makes your nipples hard, then why not? While they are hard like diamonds, go ahead and smoosh those nipples right into that like button right now. And subscribe for more helpful FIFA 18 tips, as well as, you know, some career mode coming at you soon. Alright, so for you guys who are unfamiliar with the loan out glitch, I'm going to showcase it right here with young Marcus Rashford. As you can see, he is an exciting prospect. And if you guys are unfamiliar, there are three ratings, well technically four ratings, that can be said in your status. If you're an exciting prospect, it'll usually mean that your status is from 85 to about 89 potential. If we look a little bit further down, you can see Dernley over here is showing great potential. Usually, that means that their potential is from 80 to 84. And there's Joe Riley over here, who's age 20 and his status says X-Club since 2013. If they are a player that is under the age of 23, I believe, and it says their status is at the club since yada yada yada, that means that their potential is below 80. Now there's a fourth tier of potential, one that we're going to try to reach with Young Rashford in this video, and that is called Potential to be Special, and usually that will give you 90 to 97 to anything beyond that. But the basics of the loan out glitch is what the name says. You go ahead, you loan a player out, and then you go ahead and recall them, and sometimes it'll glitch their potential either in a positive, negative, or neutral manner. Now, we actually have some players who are already loaned out here at Manchester United. There's Fosu Sumetsa, he's over at Crystal Palace. We're going to recall him right now, and the things you have to look at is one, what is his age? If his age is under the age of 23, this can work most effectively. If it's past 23, you can still kind of glitch them to get their, to higher potential, but it, it's just not as, you know, it's just not as good. And secondly, and probably most importantly, you want to look at the financial tab. You want to take note of two things, his value and the percentage that's next to it. For Fosu Mensa, it's seven and a half million at zero percent. One big thing to note is this is easiest to do and recognize at the start of the season because the percentage is at zero. You can clearly see if it goes up or if it goes down. Now, before we go ahead and we recall young folks Mensa right here, what you want to do, and this is very, very key, remember to save your game, all right? It does affect their potentials in both ways. It's a big warning. Let's go ahead and recall so you guys can actually take a look at this. And as you can see, Fos Mensa, boom, remember, he was seven and a half million, is now nine and a half million, has gone up by 26% same player just two seconds ago and as you can see over here we're gonna go scroll over to his status where you gotta check and it's still exciting prospect that's where he actually started out but if you go over to financial this is the thing that you need to recognize if the value goes up as you see that the percentage went up that means that his uh, overall potential has risen the higher the percent and the higher price that it went up that means just the higher um, the potential is so he's probably right on the cusp of 90 he probably went from i believe he's like an 87 86 probably up to an 89 right here if i'm reading it correctly from these values now you can do this with pretty much any player uh under the age of 23 it works most effectively because you stop seeing the you know showing great potential exciting prospect and all that stuff after the age of 23. so let's go ahead let's get find another player who's out on the right here regan pool i believe has a potential of 79 so if we recall him and it's like a zero percentage it should say you know at the club since yada 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 all right so he's as you can see now his value went down and you can see it's in the red by 13 percent that means his value has gone down which means his overall potential is gonna we go over to his status it'll say club at the club since 2015. that's why you want to say before you recall these people uh, otherwise you could end up with a crappier <laughs> uh potential player than you did in the first place other big thing to note, remember Fos Mensa right here is an exciting prospect and you might be saying it's like, ah, uh, 89, is that really that big of a difference? Well, you can go ahead and turn around, put him back on the loan list, 
and then go ahead and loan them out again rinse and repeat as many times as you want to get them to that final value if you want to get like a 97 rated Postumensa, you could do that if you want to get like a 90 rated Callum Chambers per se you could go ahead and do that or if there's some random player with like 69 potential that you think you know deserves to be 90 potential you could do this process over and over again uh, suffice if he is young enough he could theoretically get to 90 potential which takes me back to Mr. Marcus Rashford over here. Now, as you can see, he wasn't loaned out in real life, so what we have to do is we have to put him on the loan list. Big key thing this year that has changed, it doesn't give you the option to suggest which loan he should get. So there are three different types of loans that you can send out right now, uh, which is short loan, two-year loan, and one-year loan. But now it seems to be up to the players and the teams which one they select is their preference. But as you saw earlier, we put young Marcus Rashford on the transfer list. And now we're just going to go ahead and sim forward a little bit to see if we get any offers uh, from teams to go ahead and loan them. Oh, actually, as you can see, an offer came in for Timothy Fosumenza for a one-year deal. And uh, yes, I'm going to go ahead and accept that offer. Big difference this year is um, in previous FIFAs, if you got a loan offer and you accepted it, it would be instant. But uh, for this year, for some odd reason, I guess they need to negotiate for each other with each other. And it takes about like two to three days for them to go ahead and uh, iron out that process and put them out on loan. All right, so Fosa Mensa is actually loaned out. And what we're going to do right here is once again, we're going to go ahead, go to the save. We're going to save and manager progress one once more, uh, just so that we bring him back in. And hopefully you can see that I take a player from exciting prospect to potential to be special. Let's go over to the squad hub. And we see that Fosa Mensa is now over at Wolves. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit trickier since it isn't at the start of the year. Oh, actually, this is nice and easy. It resets their value at 0%, but he's at 9.5 million. So now we're going to go ahead, recall him, and then we're going to check out that percentage in a second. So Fosa Mensa is recalled. Oh, and as you can see, unfortunately, he's gone down by 16%. He should still be an exciting prospect, though. Yeah. But he pretty much lost everything that he gained in that last one up. So it is a double sword, but what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, um, just back out of the game and then load right back up. We're trying right back at it again. Remember, 9.5 in the value. Take, take it up. There you go. Status potential to be special. We click over there. What? Okay, this is deal. I've been testing this for a while, but there was no increase in the value and no increase in the percentage, but we did glitch him all the way up to the potential that has to be special. So if you see that zero right there, go ahead, check over to the other side because apparently it can still do it. So it's a little bit finicky, but trust me, you can do it multiple times as you saw right here to get players that, you know, you see deserve a higher potential to the rightful place, according to you. And we're gonna do this one more time using Marcus Rashford as an example. So it's uh, pretty well clear. We're gonna walk you through it. Got to place a player on loan, player comes in, you go ahead, you accept that offer for Mr. Marcus Rashford. Now you send ahead about three to five days. All right, so we check it. There you go. Marcus Rashford has been loaned out for one year. Let's go ahead, save the game. All right, then we're going back over to squad. Check out Mr. Marcus Rashford over here. Check out the financial, he's worth 20 million. Go ahead, click on that. Recall from loan, it's gonna cost us a pretty million. And then if we check his value down by 13%. All right, still an exciting prospect though. So back out, you rinse and repeat. Let's check financial for Mr. Marcus Rashford. Held steady, still exciting prospect. So you say the same again. As you can see, it can take a couple of times. Like um, this is not something that you're always gonna get. It can take you up to like 10 to 15 times. It's just kind of up to RNG, really. But usually on average, I would say, Probably takes you five to seven times to, to get the results that you want. Once again, recall from loan. Take a peek at him. Potential to be special. There you go. What was that? Like, I think five tries. I can see up by 15%. And this is what you want to do. Just go ahead and block all offers. Because from this point on, uh, I mean, technically, you could go ahead and loan them out again and just keep on bumping them up, bumping them up, bumping them up. But it's a good thing to note that if you do put him out on loan, he can come back at a lower value. So if you do end up loaning him out, remember, always save before you bring him back in or his loan runs out. And he comes back in because it'll just automatically put him at a different potential. 
Another added bonus is now Marcus Rashford is probably going to grow a lot faster than if you just kept them normally. But hopefully I made this video as clear as possible. You found it informative. You did. You know, go ahead, leave a like, share it with your friends and all that good stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I got more good stuff coming for you very soon. I'm going to release my annual best young cheap players to go ahead and buy in career mode. Uh, that'll probably be up here pretty darn soon. And then I got a career mode coming for you right quick with Barcelona. I'm very amped for that. But yeah, that's it for me. Be modest. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, stay yourself. Stay humble. Remember, every single day. The Fat Asian Nation, it grows. Fat